Uh, first of all, JLOTS is joint logistics over the shore. It's uh, composed of multiple capabilities that you see here behind me in 7TBX to include the actual Army watercraft, to include Trident piers, uh, and to include roll-on, roll-off uh, facilities that, uh, that allow for aid or any type of cargo to come from the sea to be moved onto the shore. And so the LSV, are, it's, it's, our, it's our biggest watercraft. Um, and the LCU, as I would say, it's our medium watercraft. So a log logistic support vessel is the LSV and the LCU is the landing craft utility. Um, so, and, and what they'll be used for is once the Trident Pier is set up, once the RRD is set up, they will be moving uh, aid, um, MREs or whatever type rations from the RRDF onto the pier. So they're just a transportation vessel once they get over there. Yeah, so the construction of the pier is going to take approximately 10 to 14 days. Um, and once constructed and it's fully mission capable, we're able to, we'll be able to push about 2 million meals a day uh, onto the shore for, for relief. I just say I'm so proud of the soldiers because they're so trained to do this mission. And I just want to thank all the families uh, for the sacrifices that they're making to support the soldiers while they're deployed. Yeah, so the pier construction, um, it's, a, it's a fairly simple process, but it, it, at the same time, it's very complex and dangerous. So the piers are, are made up of uh, sections that are made up of strings, um, and the piers will get constructed together. Um, they have locking pins that hold them together, um, <clears throat> and what happens basically is the small tug will assist usually, along with the warping tugs um, who are assigned to the causeway, um, and those vessels will help construct the pier. Um, it's called a trident pier, so there's many configurations depending on what type of operations we're supporting on that that pier um, but it's essentially like legos so you, you yeah so traditional pier you know you think of a wooden pier um, into the ground very sturdy um, waves hit up against it it doesn't move the waves move um, the causeway pier is a, a whole nother ball game you know there's anchors um, roughly every 100 feet that hold this pier in in place and and the pier actually moves with the waves so it's not a a rigid uh, pier. It is a flexible pier and as the waves go it moves as well. So if if you ever see a causeway pier out there, the, the causeway pier will be moving with the waves. Um, and, and obviously, you know, as the vehicles drive down the pier, you will also have the movement of, of the pier. So it's it's quite actually amazing how the pier is constructed and how heavy of vehicles can drive down that and, and it stays afloat and it, and it allows those vehicles or cargo, whatever it is, to get down the pier. Uh, down the pier. Yeah, so it's a little mixture of everything, right? So the crews are, are like a family, right? You might hear that a lot um, in other places or, you know, talked around, but it, I don't think it gets stressed enough that when you're underway, you really are a family. You know, when, when you get out there on these boats, um, there's no one else there to, to watch your back. It, it's, it's each of you guys watching each other's backs and making sure that the mission is, is successful.